you're ready to go, aren't you? I'm telling you what, last year at this time when we had only seven players and we had three of them that were freshmen, I mean, they still were getting lost from the dorms to Callahan. Uh, we were in a position where we're thinking, wow, this is, um, this is going to be a struggle. It's going to be difficult. Uh, we did go up to Oakland, had a nice win, uh, but then all of a sudden just had those seven players and couldn't really function. Uh, but now we decided that we're never going to run into that again, no matter what. We're going to max out. We're going to use up all our scholarships. And I tell you what, I, I feel like we have uh, reloaded a little bit. And I just don't want to give anyone any kind of glimpse of the players that we have uh, coming this year. But you got to give me a glimpse. Okay, you, I'll you give have, you a glimpse. You have something to build on. And that right. was the most important thing you were probably trying to accomplish last year. Exactly. Up and to build on, and you've got to feel like your ladies are ready to step up and really, you know, go for it. You know, the benefit of having not a whole lot of uh, players when we got here was that there were opportunities for freshmen to start it, and the Jaleesa Jones and the Lauren Allens and Yarshayak would have been in that position if she didn't get hurt. So here we have three kids basically going on three years of experience, and, and then just a boatload, about seven sophomores uh, with, with transfers or whatnot. So we do have a lot of experience, and we're still young, and that is just outstanding for me, and we're getting all these local kids, uh, public school league kids to, to, to come here, and we're hoping that at some point we're going to be their first choice instead of having to, having to wait a year to get them back. Yeah, but that's got to be great, though. Uh, it's been a long time right. for, well, on both sides, men and women, right. to, to get city players to stay home. Right. So what is making a difference? You know, I, I think that everyone loves a winner. So even though we haven't raised a banner, we're taking steps in the right direction and I just try to get these kids I say listen all I want just come on campus come talk to me for a couple hours that's all I need and I need you to understand that we're actually here and we are a viable division one uh, school that you can come to and all your friends and family can come watch you play and let's slowly but surely pack this place I, I would love to see that I've been me waiting too. on it a long time me and I know too. you have but we both alums and we've been waiting to see this school come back in prominence. I know you're working hard for that to happen. Talk a little bit about your team, your expectations for your ladies this year. Well, the thing is, is they showed last year what they're capable of doing. And so that will, I will expect nothing less. So if you win a sprint one time, you by golly better win them all because you just show that you could do it. You need to stop sandbagging. This year we have no surprises. So that's my expectation, to even build upon the 14-4 the and four in the league and, and win it. Quite frankly, if I didn't believe we could, I wouldn't have voted us preseason number one. Yeah, and talk a little bit about that. You, there's still one obstacle for you to overcome <laughs> from Team Up North. Right. That has been a pain in your inside right. for a long time. Is this a year that they may get dethroned? Well, you know, I, I, I would absolutely love that. Uh, when they came here and we were able to get them by 17, I thought, okay. Now we, the wall is over. It's over. Uh, now we can get past that mental block that Green Bay uh, has an electric fence around them and no one can touch them. So we were able to show that Loyola beat them, UIC beat them, so they are beatable. Are they talented? Absolutely. Did I rank them number one mid-major? Absolutely. But you know what? Why can't we have a piece of that pie too?